Uh, my name is Mark Kempel, um, the web manager for wingmakers.com. Uh, I wanted to give you kind of a quick intro to Spirit State, which is the latest work from James. Um, for those of you who don't know who James is, um, James is the anonymous creator behind the wingmakers.com site, um, event temples, lyricus, and sovereign integrals uh, websites. Um, James kind of tapped me about 13 years ago, back in 1998, to build out and design his website. So that's mostly what I've been doing uh, over the last, uh, like I say, a better part of a decade. And it's not a full-time job for me. I do some consulting onto the side as well. But I, I do provide James, um, you know, pretty much hands-on web development, um, design, and, uh, you know, taking his music and art, you know, sales to the post office and dropping them into the mail and stuff, stuff like that. So uh, and some of his business affairs I, I handle as well. So that's essentially what my role is. And about uh, roughly 14 months ago, James sent me a, a two-page email that was basically laying out, here's what I'd like to do for my next project. And he called the next project The Dorman Prophecy. It was a book, or is a book. And uh, he wanted the book to be released on a proprietary platform. And uh, I say proprietary because there was nothing out there off the shelf that I could pull and use to build this out. And uh, I also needed a lot more technical skill set than what I personally possess because I tend to be more on the design side and business side. And so I tapped my partner, Ernest. Um, Ernest and I have a company called Lightcode. Um, Ernest is based in Toronto. I'm based in Minneapolis. And together, he and I every day are on the phone three, four, five times a, d a day, um, constantly on email, and have been developing this website with an eye towards um, building a sort of Facebook meets web book mashup. So that's probably the simplest way for me to describe what the Spirit State platform is. We call it a web book reading network. And, um, and so we've been working with James pretty much, you know, collaboratively developing this platform out, uh, building out. We have almost 100 different data tables within this platform. Um, it's actually a, a, a lot larger in terms of the scope and the landscape of the platform than, let's say, what a Facebook is. And so we have had a lot of challenges, technical uh, challenges mostly, but we, we believe we're ready to launch, and so we're going to do that. This video is kind of a quick intro thumbnail, if you will, on the, the platform and what it's about, and then I'll put in a separate video kind of navigation and how to, how to get your way through the site and use it for optimal results. So uh, look for that in a, a separate video. But uh, I guess the most important thing that I'd like you to know is that uh, James felt that the reading experience was an isolated experience. And whether you're reading through a Nook or Kindle or iPad or you're reading a physical book like this, um, no matter what you're doing, you're in isolation when you're doing it. And uh, I think what James had envisioned was this ability to read collectively. So a little bit like event temples where you can meditate collectively in real time and synchronize your meditations, um, this is allowing you to read and to reach out to others who are reading the same page or the same book as you. And we call that a community of shared interest or the acronym is COSI, C-O-S-I, and you'll see Book COSI used a lot on the website. And Book COSI is our term, uh, Ernest and my term, to just describe why or what is different about this book versus any other book out there. So a Book COSI, or Community of Shared Interest, denotes this ability to leave a note on a page and share it with everyone, who else, everyone else who's reading. Uh, being able to read the notes of other people um, being able to see comments at the end of a chapter. So you can kind of get a sense of, the at a chapter level, how people are viewing the book. Um, being able to actually see where other readers are on a globe so that they can get a sense of, oh, okay, there's 12 other people reading in Minneapolis, um, right in my backyard. And then being able to click on those and do a friend request and maybe eventually meet for coffee or something like that and discuss the book in person. So all of that capacity is built into this platform, which makes it really pretty unique. And we're very excited about that. 
Uh, the other thing that's pretty cool is that um, James has opened the platform up, that is in, the, in case of spiritstate.com, to other authors. So if you happen to be an author and you've written a work or a manuscript uh, that is in the spiritual fiction genre, that's the only genre that James is interested in, at this time at least, then you can contact Spirit State. There's an author tab on the, on the site and uh, submit a two or three page sample and your email and some information about the project and uh, it could potentially be something that we'd be interested in in publishing on the Spirit State platform. So it is a publishing entity, not just for James's work. Um, the other thing I wanted to note here is that the Ancient Arrow Project, which was really the seminal work that kind of spurred all of the wingmakers.com uh, excitement, if you will, uh, the Ancient Arrow Project is being re-released on this platform as well, and it will have a 30-day free trial uh, period so you can really kind of check out the platform, see how it works for you, that kind of a thing. Um, we're really hoping that you know people hang out here and make this platform kind of a, a social hub, uh, not the social hub necessarily, but a social hub in their bookmarks and uh, you know come back frequently and add their comments and notes and that type of thing. We have a lot of future vision where this thing is going to go, so stay tuned as well. If you're not interested at this time, maybe come back in a year and check it out. Because um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to definitely evolve uh, pretty, pretty dramatically, we think. So uh, that's it. That's my intro. Uh, again, I'm Mark Hempel. Uh, thanks for joining me. And um, the next video I do, I'll kind of show you the site. Okay? Thanks.